Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm Pastor Davis, and I welcome you back to our Monday's sessions of words of encouragement. And indeed, it is truly a great, great moment. How many of you would agree with me? It is a good morning. And this morning, in our word of encouragement, I would like to uh, offer you up a challenge, a challenge for the next seven days, a challenge which many of you, uh, after taking it up, will not follow through. But for those of you who accept my seven-day challenge, to you, you will begin to live a different and an awesome lifestyle. Because this is a week that you have never seen before, and when it's all said and done, you will never see this week again. But God, God, oh, he is an awesome God. He blessed us to be able to be here this week, to be able to make a difference in our lives and a difference in someone else's life. You see, many of you will begin this week in what we call the Monday morning blues. But that's all right, because that is the way that a lot of us think. But here is what I want you to be able to do, starting right now in this seven-day challenge. And my seven-day challenge to you, my brothers and sisters, is simply this. My challenge is, I want you this week, for the next seven days, to go through the entire week and live this week complaint-free. Listen to what I just said. Live this entire week complaint-free, beginning this Monday and going through until next Monday morning. And here is the reason why. Because God offers us so many wonderful opportunities each and every day to change our way of thinking, to change our way of living and doing things. And so many of us say, okay, I am going to do that. But when it all comes down to actually doing what you say you're going to do, you renege on it and say, well, okay, I'll do it next week or the week after. Well, you see, next week is not promised. The next day is not promised. What we have to be able to do is start learning how to live in this moment and in this time, because it is the only moment and time that we have. Today is the only day. So we want to be able to, to enjoy this day and stop putting off this day for tomorrow or for another day or for another week or whatever the case may be. You see, many of you will get up this morning and you will start off your day by complaining about, well, it's raining outside or it is cold outside or the sun is not shining, or my kids are, are, are giving me all kinds of problems, or I don't want to go to this job uh, uh, because I am so tired of getting up and having to go to the same old job, doing the same old thing each and every day. And then a lot of you that are going to school will get up and complain about, about what going to school and the test that you have to take and that you don't want to take that test. You haven't studied and prepared for that test. Then there are others of you that have businesses and, and, and you're getting up and dreading going in because of the many uh, a crisis that you're going to face this day. You know that you're going to face them. So, 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 so we get up each and every day with all kinds of, of trials and tribulations that are facing us. But my brothers and sisters know this. This is what the devil brings forth to us. He brings forth these trials and tribulations to us uh, in order to trip us up. But God allows them to come into our lives in order to be able to help us to be better people, 
uh, better individuals, better mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, better aunts, uh, all of these things to be able to help us to be a better person in the long run. And the only reason that the trials and tribulations will stay in our lives is because we corral them and then we say that, well, I can't do this or that or whatever the case may be. And then all of the problems remain right here. But this is what we don't want to do. I want you to be able to, to live a complaint-free life. Uh, whether or not your, your, your wife or your husband or your boyfriend or girlfriend or your children or, who, or your boss or whoever brings a complaint against you, I want you to change that complaint into a positive aspect in your life. I want you to start thinking differently. Start thinking outside of the box. Go to your Bibles and look at Romans uh, chapter 12 verse 2. And the Bible tells us, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. So you see, my brothers and sisters, what you have to do beginning right now is to renew your thinking. And, 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 and I want you to be able to, to, to think positive. So for every negative that enters into your space, into your mind, into wherever you may be, I want you to turn that negative into a positive. Think about the good things in life. Think about the goodness of God and all of the good things that God has placed in your life, has placed before you. Because you see, God has not placed anything evil in your space and time. He has not placed anything evil or bad any place around you. Only the devil brings those things into it. And that are only because you allow the devil to come where? into your minds. And when you allow the devil to come into your minds, he will do what? He will rule over your mind. He will take control of you and he will turn your minds into all negative thinking. So my brothers and sisters, I want you to think positive all week long. I want you to take this challenge, and I want you to place it upon your bathroom mirror, uh, place it uh, upon your refrigerator, uh, upon your car dashboard, uh, upon your computer screen, uh, on your desk, wherever you are the most. I want you to place this challenge there, and I want you to write it out. Says 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 on this day and for the next seven days, I will live complaint free. So so that whenever you see this here and negative things come into your mind, you begin to think. Think positive. And as you begin to think positive, my brothers and sisters, your whole being will begin to change. This is where this verse in, in, in Romans 12, 2 comes into play. Uh, uh, being able to be transformed, because that's what we want to do today. We want to begin to transform from your thinking from a negative to a positive. Think positive about all aspects of life. And when you begin to think positive about the different aspects of life, you will begin to live your life in that manner. You will begin to have great greatness come upon you because God created you as a great and a unique individual. You are an awesome individual. So my brothers and sisters, this is what your challenge is this week, to be able to think outside of the box and to be able to go through this week without having a complaint about anything, about anyone, about nothing. Have great thoughts. Have a positive attitude about everything. A positive mind will be able to produce great results in not only your job, in your family, in your business, in everything you are going to do. A positive mind will begin to produce great seeds that will be sprout in great abundance. And that is what we want from you this week, my brothers and sisters, to be able to live a complaint-free week. Is that hard? I don't think so. All you have to do is to begin. Accept my challenge. Accept my challenge and then write me and tell me about it. Tell me what that you have done it and you have are going to do it. Whatever. Just tell me about it. Okay? Live a complaint-free week this week, my brothers and sisters. That's our lesson for today. May God bless you abundantly in all that you do. Living your life as a complaint-free person. Amen? Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Have a blessed day.